Hello! Hi everyone, this is Joy from Joy Light Transformational Coaching. Uh, I just scoop a little earlier about my new coaching and speaker reels. So if you have not checked it out, remember to check it out. And remember to share it with your friends and followers. Now I'm going to talk about quality work. Any idea what it means? Quality work is a term that, thank you for joining me. Quality work is a term that comes from choice theory and choice theory is developed by Dr. William Glasser. Choice theory basically states that, thank you for joining me. Choice theory basically states that at any given moment in time, we almost always, no matter how limiting it seems, have choices in life. So that is uh, the heart of choice theory. So today I'm going to talk about quality world, which is one of the concept, the one of the key concept in choice theory. Now, what is quality world? When you think of the word quality, what comes to mind? For some people, it could be um, you know service. For some people, it could be uh, it means um, high class. For some people, it could mean uh, quantity as well I think it varies for everybody uh, for quality is still a, a, a word that I think is pleasing for most people because it suggests um, that, that the quality is there and it's sub, it suggests that there is a certain standard um, a high standard that is being adhered to so in quality world what, what it means is that Dr. William Glasser believes that when we uh, when we are born into the world, when we grow up, um, that from the very first moment when we are babies and that we start to get um, a sense of the surrounding and then we start to learn to hear, to recognize words, to recognize similarities and to recognize patterns. Soon after birth, we will slowly start accumulating the pictures in our head that of the things that we want in our lives and Dr. William Glasser basically called these pictures that we have in our head as quality world and he did define it as a personal picture album in it, it think of it like you have this special box I think some of us have this like favorite box of ours and inside this box you have like all the things that you like uh, you know like the, the 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 movie start that of the favorite movies that you you like maybe even the the, the CD cover of your favorite CD. So in this box is all your favorite things. Some of us have such a box like that actually in real life, isn't it? So this is basically the quality word that you have is basically very similar to this. It's like a personal picture album of all the people and things and ideas and ideals that you have discovered that you really would like to have in your life. So another word for quality world is called an all we want world. Well, because it consists of everything that you want. So, even though we are all born with the same needs, um, how we go about achieving our needs varies from person to person. We all have our own different method, our own different style, our own different preferences as to how we want to go about achieving the things that we want. The pictures in our quality world tells us how we go about to achieve our basic needs. Hence, these are the very specific motivations in our life. Now, think about one of the things that you really want in your life. Um, how that might differ from someone else that's close in your life, maybe your family member or a close friend. Uh, that Even though um, you're close in relation, but what you want is so different and hence the things that you do in life is so different because the things in your quality world and the things that's in this other person's quality world is different. So the motivation um, is very specific and very unique to each individual. So as we live our lives, we continue to create and recreate the pictures in our quality world. I said recreate. What do I mean by that? What is that one thing that you so wanted when you were young? What is that one favorite idol that you have when you were young? And when you think about you now, are you still as excited about this thing or this person? 
Maybe not. So that's what I mean. Your, the, the pictures have changed in your quality world. So as we live our lives, we continue to create and recreate the pictures in our quality world, which is great because for some people, the things, some of the things in their quality world might not be that um, empowering or that productive. Cool. Um, so, um, if you have power over your quality world, as we, as I mentioned, you can create and recreate. So, if the things, some of the things that's in your quality world is not so empowering, not so positive, you can then choose to change the picture in your quality world. Um, that is powerful. So, it's not something that you're born with and then that's it. What do I do? I'm stuck with this. It's not like that. You have control over it at all times. What is in your quality world? So, the first thing first is awareness. What is in your quality world? What are the things that is in a quality world that is fantastic to have, that you should really pursue and do whatever it takes to achieve? What are some of the things in your quality world that is not so good and you know you really value them? That's why they're in the quality world. So if you can, take up a sheet of paper for just for two minutes. Think of all the things and the people and the and the ideas and the ideals that's very valuable that's uh, that you want in your work write it all down no judgment it's it's like um just non-stop writing for two minutes and once it's done stare at the sheet of paper look at all the stuff that you have written and then start to categorize them what is good to have it is empowering it is serving you what is not serving you but as you realize it's in your quality work, then you really need to start looking at this, this category and start to ask yourself, how can I remove it? How can I replace it? So, um, so what are some of the things that our quality work consists of? So I want you to think about it. It consists of one, your evolving ideal self. Your evolving ideal self. Ideal self, that means it's the person that you want to be the person that you always wanted to be, the person that you're working uh, towards. You might be um, half successful, um, you might be on your way, you might not have started on it, or you might actually be very close to this person, uh, which is your ideal self. So in the quality world, it consists of one, your evolving ideal self. And it also consists of two, people that we most want to be with. So who are the people that you most want to be with? family members, um, your partner, uh, close friends, um, church mates, um, if you are in a religious uh, group. Um, so quality work consists of your evolving self, your evolving ideal self, people you most want to be with. And the third one, things that you want to own or experience. So it could be material things like a car, a yacht, um, going going to a certain country uh, which is experience so it could be things material things or it could be experience that you've always wanted all these things are also inside your quality work so we have your evolving ideal self and the people that you most want to be with the things that you most want to own or experience and lastly it consists of ideas or systems of belief that govern much of your experience so are you religious then your religion is definitely inside your quality work if you are not religious but you might have have a certain other philosophy that you live by that is also inside your quality work ideas ideas can be anything any concept that what are you most passionate about in your life so say for example for me i'm most passionate about uh, women empowerment women welfare uh, woman wellness because um, I think a woman is the one of the most untapped resources in the world we uh, do not give women enough opportunity to express themselves to learn to grow and uh, be their best self and with that you know empower the rest of the world so that's a big ideal in my life so you might have something similar it could be it could be anything it could be like you have, you're very passionate about uh, saving the dolphins you're very passionate about um, uh, fairness, equality, concepts. So all of these are in a quality world. So to recap, the four things that will be inside your quality world. One is your ideal evolving self, the self that you want to be. Two, the people that you most want to be with. Three, things and experiences that you most want to have. 
four ideas and systems of belief that govern most of your experience so yes it consists of a lot of stuff and do you see it's your quality world is very unique very unique to you because no one else will have the same quality world and when we satisfy a picture in our quality world so say for example if you graduate with honors then you experience joy uh, because that's in your quality world. You wanted it, it's the experience you want, and you uh, that's a qualification that you want, and you achieve it. Conversely, if we fail to satisfy a picture in our quality world, so say we have a failed marriage, then pain will be experienced because there's something that we want. We have a picture in our ideal world, which is a happy, successful marriage. It did not happen. So um, you did not manage to satisfy that picture in your quality world, you will experience pain. You will experience negative emotion. So does it make sense to you? So I really like choice theory because for me, it's so easy to understand. It's nothing, you know, like you don't need to have a degree. Um, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. It's not that complicated. It's quite down to earth. So what are the, what are the characteristics of quality work? Quality world fulfills one or more of our basic human needs, which is something that I can scope about the next time. So choice theory posits that there are five basic human needs that we have. Uh, so quality world fulfills one or more of our basic human needs that we are born with. Two, um, quality world is very specific. As I mentioned, it's very specific to you. It's truly unique to you. Uh, three, it is very diverse. It can consist of anything and everything, anything that you want in this world. Four, it may be blurred. Blurred meaning um, you have a rough idea what you want, but you're not very sure specifically how it looks like. But it's definitely in your quality world because it's something that you want. But it might be a bit blurred. Um, another characteristic is, it's as I mentioned, is unique to each of us. Thank you for the hearts. It's so awesome. And... Um, the interesting thing is one of the characteristics is that what's in your quality world might be in conflict with each other. Interesting, isn't it? So meaning that, um, okay, I think a really classic example is, so say you have strong love and belonging needs. Okay, You need to have a loving relationship. But at the same time, you also have very strong freedom and fun needs. Uh-huh. So you see they're in conflict because you might have a desire to have go out with the boys every week every friday night is my boys night and maybe your partner is like hey why is it every friday a boys night you know like can't we have some fridays you know a couples night um so so you see you're in conflict your your need for love and your need for fun and freedom is in conflict so the things you know quality world might be in conflict so this is an area that you might want to examine uh, and um, uh, have that awareness and then with awareness then you can decide what you want to do about it if you don't even have awareness hmm, trouble it's going to be trouble another another characteristic of quality world is that um, it is um, according to priority so even though they are all of these things is in your quality world but some might be more important than others um, it also depends on the time of your life like during maybe this time you're more focused on certain things so certain things in your quality world is a bit more valuable to you than other things depending on like which phase of your of your life you're in now another characteristic of the quality world is it vary in uh, levels of intensity which probably is also in relationship with priority if it's very important to you so of course um, the intensity is high if right now the priority is not so high but it's in your quality world then the intensity might be lower and uh, another characteristic is that it might also vary in level of attainability you can put whatever you want in your quality world however some might be easier to achieve others might be like wow tall order um, there is no there is no criteria in terms of attainability uh, for putting things in your quality world so um, all things all things are not equal in your quality world some are probably easier for you to achieve some are not but they are still all the things that you want in your life and um, the last characteristic of quality world is that um, okay this is an interesting one like it will be realistic at times and will be unrealistic at times so you might have things in your quality world that you know what not going to happen <laughs> but you still really want it so it's in your quality world so be careful there 
think about it what do you really want you've always wanted and it's in your quality work but you know in your heart it's not realistic um, could be you just don't have that physical capability or something like that or if you want to be an um, I, I'm not sure like you want to be an uh, astronaut but um, you, you do have um, uh, health issues something like that so you know in your heart that it's not realistic okay be careful of the things that is in your quality world that is unrealistic because um, if you want it bad enough if the intensity is so high and it's unrealistic at the same time it's inside your quality world it's going to be hard you're going to feel tortured you are going to be torturing yourself so um, something to think about okay do you have um, such a category in your quality world so your quality world so now I'm really curious so in your opinion how do you define quality what is quality to you and uh, what is in your quality world um, who is in your quality world? What kind of experiences do you want to have in your life? What do you want to have? Who do you want to be? What do you want to own? And what kind of beliefs do you live by? When you think of your quality world, what kind of pictures pop in your head? So time to start thinking about your quality world. And if you like this, please share with your friends and followers. I think it's a very interesting and simple concept that we all can think about to bring awareness, uh, to have that awareness and then make choices um, to you know, further empower ourselves. If you like to see this in a written form, good news, I have this in my blog. So you can go to joyling.com to uh, assess it. So um, just go to the search bar and search for quality world okay it should look like this okay go to joylink.com and go to the search bar and search for quality world okay there you have it i hope you enjoyed this uh this little scope and i hope that it has been informative so as those those of you who's familiar with me you would know that i have a uh, goal setting program called let's step it's a 12-step program it's divided into three action manual and and it's basically a system a structure for you to achieve your goal so all you have to do is follow the system it takes um, the think the thinking part out of you all you need to do is focus on your goals use the step by step and uh, it's a 12-step system so this is the menu that I use for my coaching clients and for my workshop. Well, good news for you if you're not based in Singapore, not to worry, I also have the online version. So, and guess what? Uh, Action Manual 1, the first four steps is free for you. So I really, really hope that you will use it to empower yourself, to achieve all the goals that you want to have. So go to my website, joyling.com, go to the right column, and search for the free empowerment tools section. Click on Let's Step Goal Setting Program. Okay, go to my website joyling.com. Go to the right side and search for free empowerment tools, and uh, click on Let's Step Goal Setting Program. This is my website joyling.com. Um, you can find me at Twitter and Instagram at Joyling. My Facebook page is also called Joyling. Now, when you go to my website and sign for your goal setting program, it will come to your email inbox um, uh, every other day for four steps. Okay, so day one, day three, day five, day seven, you will have each step. Please do your steps thoroughly and thoughtfully. Okay, and then you have one day to rest or to finish your step or to reflect on what you've written before the next step arrives. Please, I designed this so that you will be empowered, so that you can achieve your goal. And first four step is free. Okay, so there is no excuse for you not to take advantage of this. Go to my website and sign up for Let's Step Goal Setting Program. First four step is free for you. And I hope that you find this video helpful. Um, please share it with your friends and followers. And I hope to see you too on um, Twitter. On, um, please like my page on Facebook. Okay, so I will 
scoop again soon with more informative information for you. I hope you have enjoyed this scoop as much as I did. And thank you for joining me from the beginning to the end. So let's catch up soon. Here's to our elevation. Thanks for the hearts. As usual, I have trouble ending it. <laughs>